hybrid and electric vehicles using lithium-ion batteries are a fairly new and evolving technology. Um, recent tests conducted by the National um, Highway Traffic Safety Administration um, showed that some of these batteries have a potential for dangers that emergency responders aren't used to dealing with in gasoline engines that they uh, usually encounter. So although no real world fires to date or any major issues have occurred in real life with these batteries, um, NHTSA felt it was the safest route to uh, warn consumers and to alert emergency responders on the potential hazards and warning signs. So NFPA um, staff worked with NHTSA and put together some interim guidelines for consumers, for the fire service, for law enforcement, for tow truck operators, for EMS, and for salvage yard operators you know, as a proactive measure to just inform them about what to look for, what to be cautious of, and when the danger signs are imminent. Some of the points that uh, NHTSA really wanted to uh, put out in front of everyone is in the event of damage to one of these electric or hybrid vehicles, or if they're on fire, you always assume that the high voltage battery and the associated components are fully energized and they're charged. So you can't assume that things are not um, um, charged or turned on. And any exposed electrical components, wires or high voltage batteries present a, high, a potential high voltage shock hazard. Venting and off-gassing of high voltage battery vapors are potentially toxic and they can be flammable. And physical damage to the vehicle or high voltage battery may result in an immediate or a delayed release of toxic and or flammable gases and an immediate or delayed fire. So these things, even though they sound really ominous, um, they're, not, they're not more dangerous than an internal combustion engine vehicle or a gasoline engine vehicle that you and I drive every day, but they're different. And the fire service and the law enforcement and all emergency responders really need to know the differences. Um, for instance, if an emergency responder notices an odor that irritates his or her eyes or nose or throat, um, or the, if they hear bubbling or gurgling coming from the battery, that's a sign that there's possibly a problem and they need to get the passengers and themselves out of the vehicle, uphill and upwind of the vehicle because uh, you could be creating some toxic fumes. Also, it's a good idea to roll down the windows, pop the trunk so those fumes wouldn't accumulate. So that gives you some idea about what the NHTSA interim guidelines that we worked with them on uh, are all about.